another episode of Make Thrift Buy, the show where you guys send in interesting, weird, or mass-produced clothes that you've seen on the internet, and then I do my best to recreate them. Today's episode has been suggested by a number of you. Thank you to Sophie, Jade, and Agus for this suggestion. So this is probably the least ridiculous pair of cutout jeans that I have seen so far. Have you guys seen those cutout jeans where the entire front part and even some of the back is missing. I have because so many of you guys keep sending me photos of them and they make me mad. Number one, because this is so easy to DIY. Don't spend a hundred dollars on these. Literally get thrift store jeans, cut them with scissors. Also, what the heck? Is the aesthetic to pretend that you've been mauled and escaped from a werewolf or something? That you're too poor to have a nice pair of jeans, but not really because you've actually spent $100 on uni for them? Fashion. But anyway, today we're gonna use these as inspiration to make our own pair of heart cutout jeans. These are originally from a Japanese brand called Fig and Viper, but they are no longer available anymore. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. First, I thrifted myself a pair of fairly loose fitting jeans, but you can use any jeans that you want for this DIY. Next, I figured out where I wanted to place my heart cutouts, which which is one big one on the front here and three smaller hearts on the back down here, here, and here. Now I'm going to make heart templates. Using a bit of scrap paper, I folded it in half and then drew half a heart onto it like this. Then I cut it out and unfolded, I have a perfectly symmetrical heart. I made sure that these hearts were the same size as the cutouts that I wanted on the jeans. I also put the jeans on and I marked out exactly where I wanted the cutouts to be using some pins. Then I turned the jeans inside out and I made chalk marks where the pins are. I'm moving the placement just slightly over to the left to get the cutouts right in the center of the leg. And then I took the pins out. Now I'm gonna show you how to do just one of the heart cutouts, but this will be the same deal for all four heart cutouts that I make. Now, if you want the heart cutouts to maintain their shape while you're wearing your jeans, especially if you're using a loose fitting pair, then you will definitely want to use interfacing. This is some light woven fusible interfacing that you can basically just iron straight down onto the wrong side of your fabric. I needed the interfacing to be just slightly larger than the cutout, so using the appropriate sized heart template for the cutout that I was doing, I cut a piece of interfacing a bit bigger than this heart. I rounded out the edges of the interfacing and then I placed it fusible side down onto the inside of my jeans in the spot that I wanted my heart cut out to sit. The next step was to iron it onto the inside of the jeans leg. Now I'm ironing them on two at a time here to save time. First I quickly went over the interfacing with the iron to make sure it was stuck down and then I got a cotton shirt and I placed this over the top and I pressed down on this for about 30 seconds. The interfacing is now stuck onto the jeans. So next I placed the heart template directly onto the spot where I wanted the cutout to be and I traced around it directly onto the interfacing. Then then I drew a smaller heart like this about 5 eighths of an inch away from the edge of the larger heart. Then with a pair of scissors I cut out the smaller heart making sure that I was only cutting through one layer of the jeans, not through both layers, which I did by putting my hand inside the jeans to separate the two sides. Next, I made little slits around the shape wherever there was a curve or a point. So I'm going to make little slits that go all the way to the bigger heart's outline using some scissors like this. These small cuts then let me fold the fabric back towards the big heart's outline like this. After folding the pieces back, I put some pins through it like this to keep it secure. And just a note, at the pointy top V of the heart, you'll need to cut off some of the edges so that they won't be visible through the cutout. Once I'd gone all the way around the heart shape, it looked like this. And the next step was to simply sew these pieces down using a straight stitch all the way around the heart. Now, it was a little bit tricky getting the jeans onto the machine because I wanted to make sure that I'm only sewing through one layer of the jeans, otherwise I'd sew up the leg hole. But trust me, with a bit of perseverance, it can be done. Then, starting at one of the sharp corners of the heart shape, I carefully stitched about half an inch away from the cutout's edge making sure that I was sewing down all of the little floppy bits of fabric. I went pretty slowly here and I made sure that I removed my pins just before I went over them with my needle. When I wanted to turn the presser foot to sew around the curvy edge of the heart, I put my needle down, lifted up the presser foot, and then rotated my material underneath. Put the foot back down and then continued on sewing. Also, the bottom thread will be visible on the outside of the jeans around the cutout, so I made sure that I was using thread in a similar color to the jeans. However, if you wanted contrasting stitching, then feel free to use whatever color thread that you want. 
Also to save paper and to maintain consistent heart shapes, I started out with my largest heart cutout and as I made them smaller, I used the same piece of paper. I simply folded the template back in half, drew a smaller heart inside the previous one, cut this out and then unfolded. This gave me my new template, which I used to do the same thing for yet another smaller cutout. Also, I noticed tiny bits of fraying at the corners of my cutout. So I made sure that these won't fray anymore by applying a little bit of fabric glue to these spots. And you could also use something like fray check if you have it. Then I gave everything an iron to make the cutouts nice and crisp and I'm done. So how did I go? So there are two things that I've learned from doing this that I think would improve this project if I were to do it again. The first is to use a pair of jeans with thicker denim. My jeans are actually made out of this kind of weird super light material. According to the tag, they are lifestyle denim, whatever that means, but they're less like your typical denim and more like dress fabric. I think that the hearts would retain their shapes a little bit better if normal to heavy weight denim was used. The second is that I think this would probably work better on a pair of tight fitting or skinny jeans. The original jeans have the same problem as mine. The heart kind of gets distorted and warped if your leg isn't out like this. I mean, the shapes still look like hearts for the most part when you're just standing normally, but they would look like hearts all of the time if you were to use skin tight jeans. Nonetheless, this method still does work really well to give you cute cutouts in your jeans. So my conclusion is to thrift a pair of jeans or use an old pair of jeans and make these for yourself. Okay, one thing you wanna make sure of when you're wearing these jeans, put some sunscreen under them holes or you'll get a sunburn in the shape of a heart. Actually, that sounds kinda of cool. But you know what is also cool? Kids, skincare. Skincare is cool. I will not be held responsible for anyone trying to turn the shape of a heart into their leg. Do something more beneficial with your time and go support me on Patreon. Hey! Thank you for watching, subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for making these videos possible. To become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.